more broken clubs you can tell it's high school golf season let's see what we're going to teach you how to do next <laughs> teach you how to do next well okay how about we show you what i'm gonna do next welcome back to the mcgolf shop jim mcclary most worst certified club mirror club fitter so if you would swing and hit that bell down below and that way you get more of the videos when they drop if you'd like to see more of what's going on in the shop the clubs we build things that are happening if you would follow me on my other social media platforms as facebook twitter and instagram you're getting one of those days so today is labor day and this is going to be posted tomorrow most likely we i went on a golf trip came back and we have a lot of work to do and going to be some videos so it's a good thing however i gotta get one done very very fast and it is for a young golfer type and we are making this into a whole club because why again it is broken off now the broken off part you can tell that you know, when you get these things and they just hand you the head and you get these stories, it's like, oh, well, it just broke. It just happened. It did these things. Uh, it's never quite like that. And most of you golfers out there know what I mean. However, if you do a little bit of forensic evidence looking about type thing, this club is actually in really good shape. Not a lot of dents on the faces. There's a couple of scratches on the top, which we might be able to take care of. The sole's not too bad, right? But, if we look back there, see all that marring? So whoever's swinging this thing is hitting it right here. <laughs> you know, as a buddy of mine once said, golf is made to be played here, not there or here or there. So, we're going to have to fix that a little bit. So, chances are the, the club was probably a little too long or the golfer's a little too flat or maybe just a little new who knows and so we're going to fix it so the so what are we doing for this well we are going to show you how to step drill all right we talk about removing shafts and how to pull shafts that's the easy stuff but how do you get the broken piece out well heat and drill right now in a more controlled environment i would use that guy right and i've got a clamp that would hold the club head and I might show you, well, let's, I will. I'll, I'll show you about what it would look like. I'm not going to do it. We're going to do it by hand. So you, if you have this problem at the house, you can do it as well. And we'll talk about the pitfalls of it. First things first, what we're going to do is we're going to use the propane torch. We're going to heat it just like we would do on a reshaft. All right. And then we're going to step drill. So step drilling is when you take smaller, you start with a smaller drill and you try and get into that hole and make it bigger and it's bigger and bigger and bigger until you generate enough heat and hopefully what will happen is it'll just pull out all the stuff and then we're going to then you clean it out and then you start to your assembly process so let's see if we can make this happen and again i would normally be doing it down here but we're going to shift it to the bench but i wanted to show you about this here So that's about a minute, right? About a minute. And you see the smoke coming off of it. And the big key is if you can hear that you hear a popping sound. And that's basically the epoxy letting go. Now, you see me using a lot of heat. So if you guys are new at this, you might want to get some gloves because you got to really pay attention to where heat's at. Now, of course, I get away with it because I've been doing it for a while. But we want to, you want to be careful not to put your hands where you put the heat. The other part is, and I'm going to show you, you just want the tip of the flame to be touching it. You don't want to be in here like that. That's not the hottest part is back here. All right. That's where you want to be. Okay. So now I'm going to move you over here and we're going to take a look. All right. We're back to the bench and I heard it popping even more, which is a good thing. I'm going to hit it with a little more heat since it took me a little time to set up the camera. typically try to stay away from the paint so that we don't burn it and we keep the heat moving all right now we use I have a DeWalt cordless drill we're going to start with a smaller bit any of these bits that you choose I mean it's all up to you and what you like personally I like to go bigger but for the purposes of this now here's a small one 
Now, why did I do that? Well, number one, I like running the smaller one in there because it is going to tell me if I've got a tip weight. The other part is you want to go too far because there is a what they call a hosel uh, cap or a hosel pin or a, a plug that goes at the bottom of this thing. And if you drill through it, you just introduce some junk into the head and now you have a whole other repair that you have to do. So now we start to the next bigger one. All right. And then we get to the third one. Now this is 15 16 so I believe. Well, we're going to find out. the inside a little bit because I've almost got it out. It doesn't take a whole lot. the important part. Now with my hosel brush, as soon as I get it in there, the hosel brush. Get it all cleaned out. And there it is, nice and clean. Let's go up and talk about it some more. Alright, we got it cleaned out. Let's see. I don't know if you can see all the way in there, but we got her cleaned out. And what I was talking about with the hosel plugs, and they, they've changed their shape, but basically that's what they look like. They're this little metal disc, they're adhesive on one side, you can shove them down in there and they'll eventually find their flat. They can be on the shaft, it can be as long as it's plugging the hole, right? We're gonna have to put one in here. The next question is making this thing look a little bit better. So let's try. All right, so after a little bit of time on the buffing wheel and on my uh, wavy wheel, we now have that. Not bad, huh? You can start seeing the reflection of the camera. That was the top. There's the bottom. How about that action? Let's see, can we find the camera? There it is. And the last but not least, the face. Looks pretty good. And our, where our friend golfer was hitting most of it? Better, huh? Very, very good. Let's talk about the hazards here, because this is more of a hazardous job than it is anything else. You need a drill. Well, it doesn't have to be cordless, it's just easier. You need some drill bits, and you don't want to go any bigger. About 5 16 is a good number for the biggest one, okay? Then you need heat, and heat, and when you got heat, you need gloves for the most part. Now, the other part that I don't tell you guys is the fact that Graphite's very fibrous, all right? And for those of you who dealt with insulation, how it gets itchy, right? When you, you, when you go up and put insulation in houses, typically you use uh, long sleeves. Most guys I know do. And that's so they don't get it on their skin because it doesn't want to itch. Well, that's what happens, right? So if you see this, all right, this is all dirty for a reason. It's dirty because that stuff gets on you and it gets itchy. And it gets all up and down your arms and it just itches no matter go wash it off it still itches so you got to be kind of careful with that stuff all right so i didn't get any on me this time but that get an apron all right and then when you're all done wash yourself off and that way you don't get itchy and you don't carry it anywhere and and then you can start into your reassembly now again with any repair it's only this is the this is the first step okay it's the first step in making it getting ready so that you can make it whole again. When you go to make it whole again, you've got to know what size of the hosel diameter you need, the flex of the shaft you want, the weight you want, the length that you're going to make it, all these different things. So the taking it out is only the first step in many. So it's like a rabbit hole. You, could, you can certainly get caught going way down it. 
Sometimes these repairs can get a little bit more out of your depth, and if that's where you're at, send us an email. It's clubmaker at mcgolf.net or mcgolfshop at roadrunner.com, and then Robin and I can help you out. Good luck with your project. If you got any questions, put them in the show notes, and let's see your scores. Go low. <laughs> Thank you.